Hi, this is Eric from Data Habits. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a segment in Google Analytics. Let's get started. So the thing that you need to know about segments is that they're used when you want to focus in on a fraction of your website visitors. You don't want to look at all your website visitors, but you're just curious about, in this case, people who come from Facebook to your website. That's the segment that we're going to look at uh, today. Other segments might be people who come from email or people who come from ads or people who come from Twitter to your website. In this case, though, we're going to look at creating a segment for visitors who come to your website from Facebook. So the way we create this segment is that we log into Google Analytics, go to the reporting tab, and most reports have this add segment button on them. In this case, we're in the audience overview report. We just simply click on add a segment. Now you'll see uh, different segments than mine. These are ones that I've created in the past and saved. You'll see a few default ones that uh, Google Analytics offers to you. But in this case, we want to create a new segment. So we go to click on new segment, we give it a name, Facebook traffic and there's lots of different ways that we can uh, segment our audience demographics the technology they use the browser or the operating system when they first came to our website in this case we're going to look at traffic sources now this is going to look familiar to anyone who took the video on uh, campaign tagging i recommend you go back and look at that once you're done this one if you haven't already we're going to look at source and we're going to just type in Facebook. So as you can see, uh, all kinds of different traffic is coming from Facebook. 13% uh, of our users, in fact, for this time period are coming from Facebook. Um, so we've now created this segment. We click on save. And now all of Google Analytics is just looking at our Facebook traffic. Instead of looking at all the users who came to our site, we're just looking at, for this time period, the people who came from Facebook, where they landed, how long they stayed on the site, whether they donated or signed up for anything. So you can see how powerful this is to just look at a segment of your website. You can do a couple of other things. You can go back and compare, add the all sessions segment, which is everyone. You can add that back in. And now you can compare side by side your Facebook traffic versus all of your traffic. So uh, here's the Facebook traffic, here's all of the users. The Facebook traffic versus all of the users. So you can now uh, compare all kinds of different things. The last thing I'm going to show you with these segments is uh, for people who watch the campaign tagging uh, video, we're going to focus in on people who responded to just a single post. If you remember, we added some information to a link that we posted on Facebook. We want to see uh, what the uh, results of that were. So these values probably uh, look familiar to you if, uh, if you did campaign tagging. There's campaign value, medium value, source value. Content isn't there. It's actually somewhere different. It's called add content, unfortunately. So we click on conditions, add content, contains, and then the name of our post was top report dash 06-2015. So that was the content that we gave it. It's coming up with zero because I actually uh, haven't posted that report yet. But this is how we would create a segment. If you see that this segment would now look at just people who clicked on that link we created uh, and tagged in the previous campaign tagging video. If you haven't looked at that video, I encourage you to go look at it now. But this is the power of segments. We can 
not just see people who come from Facebook, but we can focus in on people who clicked on a certain Facebook post. When we use campaign tagging and segments together, uh, this is the kind of power we get. We can look at just the users who clicked on that post. So that's how we uh, create and use segments in Google Analytics. We decide what fraction of our visitors we want to look at, in this case, people who are coming from Facebook. And then we go in, click on Add a Segment, and focus in and create that segment of users that we want to look at. As you can see, when we've already uh, done campaign tagging uh, of the URLs that we send out, of the links we send out, we can really focus in on people who have followed a particular link, people who have come from a Facebook post or come from an email message that we sent them. So you can see these two techniques, segments and campaign tagging, how they work together and how powerful they can be. I hope this helps and uh, thanks for coming by.